We're excited to welcome to our microphone our next guest, our, her first time here. Terry Yaffe is both a PCC and a CPCC. Uh, she is um, also a, sir, uh, sorry, I'm looking for the credential about NLP. She is a master and postmaster uh, in neuro-linguistic programming as a practitioner, also an affiliate member of the Institute of Coaching at McLean Hospital, which is a Harvard Medical School affiliate, and is the current president of the ICF board, the New York City chapter. Welcome, Manhattan. Hello. Welcome, Terry Yaffe. Yeah. Uh, hello, and what a mouthful that was. Yes, <laughs> I've been practicing for days and uh, <laughs> caffeinated out of my mind. Now, Terry, I want to yeah. let you know that in addition to me today, you are in the presence of greatness. Thomas Crane, the author of The Heart of Coaching, was our first oh. guest and is staying with us as sort of an as sort of an adjunct. So oh, wow. he'll be he'll be contributing mm -hmm. to our conversation or maybe subtracting from it. We just don't know. Uh, um, well, let's hope contributing. Certainly. All right. Good morning, Terry. <laughs> well, yes. First of all, let's talk about the great New York City chapter of the mm. ICF. All right. You've been uh, you've been active with their board for a while. Tell us what's going on in New York and the ICF oh, chapter there. Um, well, I started on the board in '06, so I have probably right now I am the I don't use old in age, but the elder member of the board, and um, I've been president for this is my second year, and I'll be rolling off at the end of this year. But I think there are some really great things going on that we had to take a good, hard look at what do we need to kind of play a bigger game. Because um, sometimes you kind of coast along and do what's been done and realize that don't work anymore. What was great back when doesn't apply today. And we are actually the second largest chapter in the U.S. So that's that kind of puts us up there. I love your, yeah, I love your candor about that. What are some of the challenges that you're facing? What well, do you, where do you think that coaching and coach, maybe the ICF chapters, are sort of falling behind? Um, I think that, I think ICF also had to take a hard look global sure. about what they were contributing and how could they start to play a different game. And, you know, certainly one of the things they did uh, at one time, you could just be a member. You could check your name off, send in your $195, mm -hmm. and great, you were a member of ICF. But what about those of us that have really made an investment in the coaching profession and in being a real professional? Um, as you read, I've invested, and I've only been coaching 10 years, a lot of energy financial, and time to becoming a certified coach, an accredited coach. I've taken many courses. I do relationship coaching. And there were those that just said, okay, I've had 10 hours of coaching. Check my name off. I'm in. Right. Instead of hundreds of hours. Okay. Or whatever. So what they did is they applied the minimum eligibility requirement where somebody had to have at least 60 hours of coaching to become a member. Coach, so I think yeah. that that was great. And, you know, they lost members along the way, and I think they're trying to figure out also how do they keep and get a membership and what's important about being part of, a, of an organization. It's like if you're a doctor, you want to be part of the American Medical Association. Or if you're a this, you want to be part of that. And it's, it's kind of staking your claim in the profession. I think that's a, that's a really important piece, that this is the place that we get to develop as a profession and as professionals in that. What, one of the issues that we found in uh, my local chapter when I was the president mm -hmm. back, uh, you know, when dinosaurs mm -hmm. ruled the earth, was that yeah, right. uh, our... Our successful members, like as people got sort of to the senior levels right. where they were very successful and mm -hmm. made a name for themselves, they would roll out of the local chapter because there was so much attention on the new mm -hmm. coach mm -hmm. and getting marketing going and getting your practice up and running. Is that what you find in New York City? That, that is part of it. Um, I think every chapter struggles with that. It's not just New York. It's not... DC. Um, I think every chapter struggles with when people get to a certain level, they do roll off because 
Maybe they're MCCs, maybe they're this, maybe they've got a, a business that really doesn't care right. if they're uh, accredited, if they're ICF, or they just, you know, feel that they don't have the time to come to meetings where there are a lot of newer coaches. And what are they going to learn? That was one of the things we addressed. Great. Well, thank you very much. I want to give you one more uh, chance to plug the ICF chapter, and then we'll get back to you as a coach and what your development and and, uh, area of specialty is. But um, let's talk about New York City. So obviously it's uh, icfnycchapter.org on the web, icfnycchapter.org. What have you got coming up? Oh, so we have been addressing the, the more experienced coaches. And um, in the summer, we've got a teleclass with the president of ICF, Damien Govarg, who will be talking about the um, core competencies. In the fall, we have an MCC coach presenting for our September meeting. And then in October, we are having a panel of MCC coaches. It's almost like conversations with the masters. How do you get to mastery? What did it take? Wonderful. I can't wait for that. Yeah, and then in May for International Coach Week, we kicked it off with a panel of MCC coaches and HR people behind the curtain of corporate coaching. Beautiful. So we have really been trying to address that very issue. Great. Give a a plug to your uh, TV and radio products. Yes. We have a, uh, which I think you're going to be on, um, as I think. I'm, well, I, I guess we'll see how this interview goes, and then maybe I uh, will or won't, well, right? Uh, <laughs> you may have well, second thoughts. I, I know. My counterpart, Lori Lawson. So we do something called Coach World TV, which is on Monday nights. It's only New York City-based, but there is a feed um, that you can click on and, and see the uh, Internet of, of the show. So Lori and I do the interviewing of people on our show, and um, she and another board member, well, she's not a board member anymore, but do Coach Chat Radio, which you can call like we're calling and speaking today. Mm-hmm. But the, the TV show, you have to be in New York City physically because it is a, it's not a virtual uh, program. Okay, great. And, uh, but the radio you can get anywhere, and it's again, how is it available? Um, it's Blog Talk Radio. That's one of those and, lesser yeah. radio stations, we should say, just because we're sitting in the WS Radio studios. Okay. <laughs> okay, but Blog Talk uh, Radio. But, and and they can go on to our site, www.nycchapter.org. Uh, uh, yes, right, exactly. Okay, great. 